our home. Frozen, frozen, frozen when heaven extinguished the pyre. But one spark, but one spark is enough to, is enough reignite, to reignite a revolution. a revolution. Welcome back to Monster Train. One, I'm going to use that as my yearbook quote when I go back to high school. Get my grade 10. Anyway, how we... we, we didn't do amazingly last time. We did Umbra Melting. So you, you remember, my new philosophy is we go into the logbook and, and play as stuff we've never won before, which I think is totally acceptable. And one day I'll remember how to figure out how to get to the logbook. There it is. You gotta, you gotta hit single player first. Open up, please. Knock, knock, open up the door, it's real. I feel like we got a lot of Awoken plays. That could still work well for us. And actually, now that I think about it, a lot of Stygian plays. You know what? What about a Stygian Umbra? I feel like a Stygian Umbra has a good chance. Because I've, I've grown to quite like the Stygian Champion. And I really like the Umbra as good frontline units. I'm going to tell you something. I think the Hellhorn are stinky. I think their champion is not good. Um, so I'm happy to be playing as a different group quite frankly, and this, my opinions have reversed versus where I was recently. I, I'm not afraid to make people a little upset early on. All cards gain plus one magic power or merchant costs are reduced. Reduced. It really depends on what champion we have, unfortunately. Obviously, we're not going to skip. I think merchant costs being reduced is just agnostically good. Let me, sorry, the new meme. It's a mature decision. Um, I think that a forgotten name could be good as well, but I think this will translate to a couple of extra upgrades we otherwise wouldn't have been able to afford. We definitely want Frostbite. Alright, so I think I know what we need. Sorry, we need we should look at our Seraph as well. Um, you sap. That's not that bad. Units are stronger to give us an extra unit um, from, the, from the challenge. The most important thing for us is to get a, a great tank. And honestly, one of the best tanks we could conceivably ask for is, um... I can live with this. One of the best tanks to conceivably ask for is the Lifesteal Umbra unit, for sure. I'm, I'm completely okay with that. Let's get you Poggin. Let me look at this for a moment. You know my play here. We look for a morsel that does damage, we put it there to get a collector if possible. And then we'll give ourselves a little damage shield. And then I think we'll just put this up here as well. We'll probably summon a train steward up there at some point. You hate to see it. Um, but work with me here. Oh, you're dying. <laughs> One damage shield, then six and nine damage. Okay. Look, I think with Frozen Lance and then an, uh, a, a Morsel, we might be able to keep... We might be able to kill you. But it's more important that our champion survives. So we have to do it like this. Because the champion living... It's not a prerequisite, I think, to beat the boss. But it is, of course, quite helpful. Um, what, you're a morsel miner? No, you're an anti- Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I gotta think about this one for a moment, alright? You gotta think about things before you do them sometimes. We need... Uh, uh, we're getting Frozen Lances next turn, right? Yeah, okay. So I think we put a small tank in front of you. I think if we could make you even tankier, that's a big positive. Even if it only leads you to take it one extra hit. I think we want Spell Weakness to stay in our hand. We want to use our Morsel to kill you. And then... Really, we just... The way that we win this is very easily. The longer we keep our champion alive, the better off we are. So I think this play does... It's probably enough Frostbite to just win. Um, and then amazingly... Oh, well, you're still gonna make it up, but I, I don't think... Well, actually, you're gonna make it up. You're gonna, you're gonna deal 9 damage. But this is a pretty great start, considering we didn't have any extra, like, units involved at all. Um... Do me a favor. Play it like that, I think. I'm pretty sure you're... Yeah, you're already dead to Frostbite, so I'm not sweating it. Not sweating it in the least. 
Look at that. Train steward can get the job done all by himself. Fine, I'll do it myself. What do we need? I always want targeted damages, Stygian. Without having, like, Hellhorn backing them up. Because we need that. Um, I think a lot of this stuff is good, but I think Flash Freeze is probably the best for now. In fact, I think all that stuff is great. All these cards are gold, which makes it much harder to evaluate what's good and what's not. I think when when you have a big lifesteal unit or champion, Immortal Trade is is ni like nuts. For the for the Umber champion specifically, I think this just I was gonna say I think it creams, but I think that's kind of disgusting. Let's just say it's good. It's a mature decision. Pretty good on a on a glass cannon champion. Just pretty good in general. Let's, let's go there. I This is tough because I, I like all these units. I've come to realize I underrated this guy. Now I overrate him. I love him, but he's a little slow. The Titan Sentry, on the other hand, the Frost Shark, as he's colloquially known in the community, with a couple of juicy upgrades to his HP, he's a monster. I'll tell you. When Shadow Eater gets buffed in the main branch of the game, I'm going to be all over it. For now... I am not all over it. I don't think Endless is worth much. I gotta be honest, I don't really think... The the Titan Sentry... This is not bad, but I'd really just rather him get two plus 25s. So this is spicy, but check this out right here. The Large Stone would be cool too, but... I, I actually think this was completely worth it. We'll give the Morsel Master more damage, because we can, I guess. Um... I'm just, and this may seem like I, I threw money away. I don't see it that way. You're granting haste for a unit draft. I'm going to turn it on. I, I really think I've got my priorities roughly right in Monster Train. More than I ever have before. Why are we turning this on? Well, I think this is going to suck. However, I also think... That we know what we want, if that makes sense. I think this is what we're looking for there. Um, and all I mean by that is, we know we want a big Umbra unit that gorges like crazy, so we can have two good floors instead of one. So the faster we get to that unit draft, the happier we're going to be in that department. Every Everybody's dying on this floor, which is exactly what you want to see. Um, I think that this is worth it. And we're looking for... Uh, I don't know if we want damage shield, because I don't know if that'll take away the damage we're getting. So let's not take that real quick. You guys, we know you're going to make it up. It, it is what it is, right? So we might as well just... I'd rather smack you twice than play another morsel here, because this floor may never do anything. <laughs> so this is great stuff. that We know what we're looking for here. Um, you're not dying, which is a little surprising to me. So I think that everything's going pretty much according to plan. This time we will go for the damage shield. That did change things just enough. I can live with that. We'd love to kill our haste unit at the back here. I don't. I still don't know if we have enough. Let's see. We do have enough. Okay, that's exciting. I still, in in almost every situation, I'm like, you gotta you gotta play the morsel maker and double up. Um, no real reason to put you down. You die before you do anything. Although, actually, it's a good reason. It would get you out of my deck. Now, we're just happy here that we can get whatever we can get. So, you're taking 37. Personally, guarantee we're going to get two of these out here. The lifesteal might as well be, like, heal 14. So, that's extremely great. Uh, this, this champion will, or this boss will not make it through our top four. It's inconceivable. The frostbite is just going to shred you. Alright, so we got a great thing going here. And we're looking for Lifesteal Overgorger, ideally. Lifesteal Overgorger. I honestly don't think we can afford this. We're not, we're not rolling spell weakness right now. Maybe one day we will. Antumbra Assault, I'm taking because I think targeted damage matters a lot to me right now. Now, this is, like, one of the most overpowered cards in the game. I'm embarrassed that it's not gold yet. They're actually in the beta branch. That costs three mana right now. So, me taking that right now feels fantastic. 
And this is exactly what we were asking for. So I, I would say we have a great chance. We've got the, the scaffolding of what we want. I wouldn't mind a rare Awoken heal. This is a very interesting card. Does it fit every deck? I don't know. I, f I feel like Unleash the Wildwood for zero with Holdover benefits our tanks and lifesteal units so much. We don't. We probably at this point don't even need it with Holdover. Having it with Permafrost is normally not something I would look for, but I think in this situation we could we could make that work. And then it's rough. Okay, so I, th th it's weird. This is probably a better play, but I think this scales better into the late game. So I'm gonna I'm gonna roll the consume on the Antumbra assault, though it may strike you as true insanity to do so. I don't really want to remove it from our deck, but I always want it to hit. And at 23, it's gonna hit every time for a while, but then it'll not scale super well into the late game. So this might be a mistake, but I, I still kind of like it, believe it or not. All right, let's see where we stand here. Probably not a great floor uh, to summon your Titan's Bane on. So I think we'll probably go Titan's Bane up here. Morsel Master here. Now the danger is not having enough space to put our tank up there. But we're not sweating that, you know, for the time being. Honestly, I'm willing to summon you just to die so you don't come back around. We got enough train stewards for the time being. Alright, that's pretty terrible that you, you came down to this floor. Um, let me think about how we can do this. Does one damage to the front unit on death? So we definitely, like, love that. You're still dying. How? You have, you have two damage shield. Oh, because this takes off one. Okay, that's understandable. Um, this is not the way we would normally want to run this. But I think for the time being, it's okay. And I trust me, I understand why this is not right. If we had drawn our frost unit, it would be a different story, but we didn't. Now that we have our frost tank, he does actually fit, but it's not the right place for him. The right place for you is probably, I, I would say at this point, probably here. That way you can, you know, get the advantage of these morsels. Uh, and also, the longer you live, you're actually a great unit to have after they've gotten frostbitten and twice shy by our champ down here, because you're going to live for a long time. Um, so I, I do like that. Honestly, we can fit a lodestone here without compromising the amount of morsels we can summon because of Morsel Master. So I think that there's there's some goodness there. And then, as you can see, the sap did extremely well. And if you're already healing for 11, I don't think we really need to cast on this floor. Although, if I hit you for... Actually, I will cast, because it'll also kill this unit that's one back. I think we got a great setup. I think we got beautiful units. This is not the way we drew it up, but it's still completely fine. Um, nobody needs this yet, so we will hold it until it's more relevant. And just keep you going here. We got it. You always sap on this floor whenever you can remember it. Let's get a... More so minor going here. You can take everything else, and we can always use this next turn, but we probably won't because it's unnecessary. You're still going to kill this unit, but you know what? I'm, I'm okay with you dying here. This is, a, this is a really good condition to be in. Even with this, we do not care. That being said, we do do pretty well by just icing that. You're still going to hit me, huh? Well, we know we want the morsels. We know you're, even the champ is getting sapped, which is beautiful. You should have double the HP morsel. We'll get you going. You not dying is unfortunate, but understandable as well. Understandable. Have a nice day. I don't think this will speed up your decay at all. So I think we do this. I think we do it like that. We lost a little, but not enough to be perturbed by. All right, so we know we're not doing anything on this floor. This floor is not what it's about. So we'll sap you. Shield's nice. I think I'd still rather just give you the HP for now. And all of these floors are going to be, like, 
horrible for the boss. <laughs> Everything's fine in that department. Um, and you're already dead, so we don't even need to worry about it at all. But on the other hand, I'm also like, I mean, if we can sap you, why wouldn't we sap you? You know what I mean? Why don't you take a little bit more HP and call me in the morning? So I really, I'm proud of myself because I feel like we, we took some risks to get where we wanted to go and we got there. We got exactly what we wanted. Now, what's better? Energy has not really been a concern for us. So I think capacity is, uh, is important. People have told me, so I'm, I'm going based off one piece of anonymous feedback, that Blazing Bolts is like an instant win when it reaches max upgrade level. So you know what? That's what we're going to try to do. Although, Shroud Spike with the Gorge on Life, double Gorge on Lifesteal is insanely good. I think you could probably get away with two Lodestones, but I, I actually think that... Like, I don't think Damage Shield is bad. It's not really what we want. I got Forgive me, okay? We don't have three grade floors, but I, I think we skipped that for now. And I know I said we wanted capacity, but I think taking Blazing Bolts has us just reconfiguring things ever so slightly. Just ever so slightly. Most important, in my opinion, right now, is getting this Lifesteal unit to pop. I think that's worth it. We're gonna try not to have our champion on the lifesteal floor very much. We'd really rather you had... Something else. <laughs> I feel like maybe we can purge instead. It's nice to not have to get rid of uh, dregs, huh? That feels good. Now, this is actually tempting, but Frostbite, if we have great tanks, scales so well. Okay, so we... Capacity is definitely our next concern, without a doubt. Now, here, I think we can turn on Multi-Strike. We have really good tanks. Lifesteal will counter it. Um, the Whatever the card is called, Unleash the Wildwood, the full heal with Permafrost, that's going to help out a ton. I think you can do this. I think on the bottom floor... Is this... Our, our bad capacity floor is here. I still think you do it here. And maybe we'll, we'll try to get uh, Lifesteal up at the top instead. So now, very dangerous, right? Wrong. Because these guys are sapped, this is uh, very little concern. However, we do need to keep sapping you. <laughs> it's looking a little spicy. Um, so we love this. That's just the unit we want there. He's not even taking that much damage. Um, and I, sure, I would say the Morsel Master comes up here. You do two damage. Let's get you going up there then. Um, and now you're doing none. That's amazing. Um, so we'll, we'll try to set up Lifesteal at the top, and the middle floor will kind of be the one that doesn't do anything for us for the time being, and, and that's okay. Um, so again, it's a great sap. Probably put it on you for now. You're taking 50 damage. My lord, dude. And we'll keep sapping you, because it... it Pays dividends for future floors. And how many can we fit up here? Just one. I want you to have double the HP, please. And then down here, you can have... You doing a little damage is kind of nice. And uh, up here... If you can keep our train steward alive, that's worth a little bit. And you can continue to get sapped. And we can't even fit our train steward right now, so let's not sweat it. Everything's still extremely hunky-dory. Um, I would say you guys are both dead already. That's fantastic news. We really want to play Blazing Bolts. You're doing great. Okay. So I would say Antumbra Assault and Blazing Bolts are your play. In which case, you'd really be looking at, like, this play, and then maybe you take two of those. Little... Little damage shield on our frontline unit, I guess. And then we'll be trying to sap you. Which means we'll take no damage. I'm looking at this. I'm like, wait a minute. How much damage you do? 41. So you're going to make it right now. That's not horrible, but obviously is not fantastic. 
Extra lifesteal on this guy will always crush. I don't think this is a great play. Cause it, mostly because it doesn't do anything at all, really. Okay, we can't even play that one. That's my bad. Uh, and I don't think we... W well, I guess we should have put Spell Weakness on somebody, but... It's okay. Everything's fine. Keep in mind, all this Pyre damage, re damage we're taking is in the service of getting a Relic in the future, so... Um, you're already dead. It's good. This is a good situation. No, no panic. No panic. Look at the Frostbite, man. So inspirational. Is it Pyre Damage? I think it's Pyre Damage. I'm, I'm completely okay with that. Now, the Frostbite Encanter, also pretty tempting. But do we really need it? With low capacity, admittedly, it is a low capacity unit. I, I do like it. I like it enough, for sure. I think Feast is also good enough. Uh, removal matters now. So, I mean, this is... I gotta admit, the Pyre health is pretty nice, too. But I guess we're... It benefits us both ways. Um, but we, send it. Give me, give me the multi-strike, dude. I don't think we can do that. <laughs> you know what we can do, though, is this. And we'll definitely, like, without a doubt, we'll be taking capacity. I think you can do a lot worse than getting large stone on your on your tanks. We do have to be very careful about how we play them now, because um, there's going to be one floor with four capacity. We're going to come in with armor 15. I, I choose on this one to just not take any excess pyre damage, so I'll play it safe, because I, I think we're really in a great spot. We should be fine with this setup right here. And we can still play our tank here. You might as well, quite frankly. Um, and I think... I'm trying to think of where we'd be most beneficial to have capacity. I actually think it's probably on the top floor, even though it looks crowded down here. We put it on the top floor. It's it's much better for our uh, for our lifesteal unit when we actually get them, which we have not yet. <laughs> to be clear, but you guys are pretty sapped. You're you could use a little bit more sapping. Uh, do you do? Or you get plus two to all friendly units. So you counter the sap actually. So really, I think a trash unit up at the front is the best thing for us here. Go ahead. Take a little something for yourself. And we still got space down here. You do eight damage? I mean... This seems okay. We're just waiting on two very important units. And we got them both. So I would say this is your gimme right here. Uh, and they're all dead now, which, again, goes to show you that I think we're in a great spot. And then, you being here is really good. It's where you're supposed to be. But it does mean this floor, I think, is going to hurt a little bit. So I think you need one of those. Yeah. I mean, if you make it to the pyre, I'm not sweating it too much. I would say, although, hold on, we should be sh shade splitting down here. It sounds so, like, lewd. There we go. Get the double lifesteal, then get some extra energy next turn. You guys can remain sapped. You're going to take 61, so you're going to hit our pyre once for 14, which is significant. But I think we're, we're pretty much, we're through now. And we have six energy. So I would say, oh, you don't fit here anymore. Well, I mean, I would say put it here, then. And you can at least, like... <laughs> get some heavy frostbite going. 
And I, I guess you can gorge, which is going to be pretty interesting. Um, deal 30 damage to a random enemy unit two times. That's interesting. Very interesting indeed. Hey, you're dying now? Oh, because I killed this. Okay. Luckily, that is not a huge part of our plan, but that's pretty not great. Um, so we let's sap these guys, you know? Step one is gonna be gonna be sapping them. Um, we can't really adjust things too much here. We definitely want to. Well, actually, now that I think about it, I don't think we're gonna gain too much out of unleash the wildwood because you're gonna have full HP up here anyway. So I think we might as well cast it, quite frankly. And that added an extra 180 damage, which is pretty great. And we're just gonna keep like, there you go. All, all we had to do was get the saps going, and everything was under control. It helps that we've got 150 Frostbite on you. That, that's a big plus. Much like the Swiss flag. I mean, with magic power, this gets great, right? But I feel like we're, we're already there. And don't get me wrong, I love the... Uh, I think this is good enough for the, the the free spell gain it gives us, but don't get me wrong, I I like um, the sap totem. I just don't think that we need it, or let me rephrase, the sap spell. I just don't think we need it when we have the totem. Uh, especially at that price and without having a discard enabler. <laughs> Deal 40 damage to a random enemy unit four times. That seems like pretty good. <laughs> Why, why don't we, is this the fully upgraded version? I'm assuming it is because it no longer purges. So let's give that like some heavy upgrades. And then holdover. Would have been nice to have it on that, I'll admit. But I wasn't really thinking straight. Um, holdover is kind of a weird one here. I think we want it on a free spell. Maybe even unleash the Wildwood. Although drawing it every turn is not great. But this is basically a free sap plus heal every turn. Or alternatively, we could put it on this, and then we get a free Frozen every turn with a free spell associated. Or alternatively, we could put it on a, uh, or we could put it on Flash Freeze. That's always going to be nice. I think that's more useful. Feast, you know what? <laughs> Actually, I think it's most useful on Feast. Can I explain why after going through all that? Um, it's because Feast, we can still play for zero benefit. And if we already have a permafrost on Unleash the Wildwood, we don't need that every single turn, right? I don't think we upgrade anything else here. Um, so I think just having it on Feast, sometimes it'll generate a benefit, sometimes it'll just be sap, but that's, that's still fine. Okay, now, what if we drew our tanks early and we didn't even have to go through the little bit of stress we've been going through up to this point? We're like kind of there, but I have to think about it. So I think I would start here. All right. Now I would probably feel okay. We only have four capacity on this floor. Just trying to think about how we want to put this out here. Let, let's set up. Oh, I... We should have taken the pyre damage. I think we set up here. We, we got a lot of time, basically. Um, so we, we know what we want out of this. Don't, don't get it twisted up. You know how we want this to go. No reason to cast. Just a tank. It's quite simple. Just a single tank. We did not get a single tank. However, we did get the sap totem. Which does enough for us to be stoked. So with only three energy remaining, we do have to think about how we want to roll this. Um, no reason to cast Feast, except for holdover purposes, so sure, let's do it. I think we, we want more. Uh, we could have done this. That didn't really matter. <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep... I'm flip-flopping a little bit, I'll admit. I, you have to die, but I think it's most important you don't add more garbage to our deck. And then at least, like, look, it doesn't do us a disservice to have a strong Morsel Maker. Morsel Master, I should say. It's not what we actually want. 
but that's okay. So now this is like chef's kiss. We got a, we got a real good thing going here. You might as well take two of those. And I don't know, man. Why don't you take like one of these and then feast? And now you're becoming quite the quite the menace here. You're going to get some life steal which will really benefit you next turn. You guys will remain sapid. You can take even a little bit more for yourself. I really do wish I casted the life steal unit. <laughs> But it is what it is. It is what it is. What do you got here? You do best with Morsel Make or Morsel Miner. Oh, we got two Morsel Miners, dude. That's sick. So I honestly, you don't need the feast right now. You're doing great. I would say a feast on this floor to get an extra sap is worth a little bit more. And then uh, this should go. Quite frankly, I think this should go too. We're gonna, we are hitting a little bit of a bottleneck up at the top here. We really need our other unit to come back around to help our pyre as much as possible, but... I mean, I did it to myself. There's no denying that. I think you just hold this, for sure. Well, no, because then you might as well... Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm really hoping... That losing that, or not playing that lifesteal unit instead of taking the pyre health is not going to come back to bite us too hard. It's not looking incredible right here, I'll admit. You really gotta go. Although you're dying anyway. So I wonder if I just kill you faster if that's not the, the play. So I think you shade split like crazy on this floor. We get you pogged up. You do 72 damage. You know, I think I'd probably do it like that then. <laughs> 72 damage is pretty good. And then I would say, actually, go ahead and heal to full. We're at the bottom of our deck, so it's going to come back around anyway. It would be really nice if it came back around, like, with our lifesteal unit. But I do acknowledge that that is my own, my own fault that put us into this situation to begin with. Lifesteal? No lifesteal. I mean, we have to kill you on this floor. 928. Well, we don't have to kill you on this floor, but it would really benefit us. We don't need this to be feasted. We'd rather just sap you. That added 50 damage. Um, there's no way I'm playing a little train steward up here. You're going to have so much frostbite, I think you're going to be killed anyway. But this is a great example of a cautionary tale. You have 135 frostbite. Okay, I, I think we're fine. That's That does it. However, this does it even better. Close. You almost got me. Almost made my heart rate rise. I do think, like, a furnace tap on a lifesteal unit for Relentless is pretty amazing. I think we can roll it. We definitely... Capacity has been an issue. I still feel pretty confident, quite frankly. And we're still fishing... I, I love the Pyre health here. We're still fishing for a multi-strike. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, I, I think it does work really well on our Crucible Collector. We are just hoping, like, it would be really nice to just get a, uh, a single uh, multi-strike option. But sure, you know, it is what it is. It's not bad. And I think we're, I think we're okay. Like, I, I think everything's fine right now. It's just weird. Like, we got a lot of large stones. I would not turn that on for, for all the money in the world. Okay, so just be not dumb this time. So we got 21 damage coming out. So if we're going to put you out of here... We, what do you give? Multi-strike? Okay, so we're going to set up the way we've set up in the past. Looks something like this. 
get some of this out there. Um, really, you getting damage shield is probably most advantageous. And then, we definitely want this out there. The earlier, the better. Pog, to you as well. I don't know, do we really want you to get six morsels? Let's see what this morsel is. One energy? Doesn't matter. Oh, yes it does. We would have had two extra energy if we put it at the top. Alright, a tank please? We did not get a tank. So what do you do? Can you get enough out of the sap totem? I don't believe so. However, with damage shield, I think, and we probably should have done this earlier. I think if you put the lodestone totem up at the front, and we might as well put you out here as well, brother. The most important thing by far for us. And you're still going to die no matter what I do. But the most important thing for us by far is keeping our champion alive. It cost us both totems. I'm okay with it. I'm just throwing that out there that to draw a tank would like be so good. <laughs> Would it kill you to draw a tank? Um, so here's my new hypothesis. Maybe it's okay to put our Crucible Collector... No, you gotta do it this way. But we gotta find a way to get through this. You're still dying. Well, then there's no way we can save you. So this is really nasty, for sure. Um, we don't really want to put this on. If it had some damage shield, we could we could talk, but... Alright, so it all comes down to our lifesteal unit. Now we'll draw our tank, by the way. Now we'll draw our tank. Hello, nice to see you. Um, I still do want you out there, for the record. By the way, wouldn't mind some morsels. Just throwing it out there that uh, to have some morsels would be... Extremely chef's kiss. Just throwing that out there as a poss possibility. While we're chatting, if we could just get, like, some morsels, that'd be pretty sweet. Hey, look at that. It's some morsels. So you really need this, um, which is why we saved it. We got morsels. We got morsels. I'm gonna put this one in here first. Eat up, boys. Yum, yum. Um, we could have done this a little better, I think, but... Extra energy next turn as well. This smells like a run where it could all go wrong, but I think we're actually relatively okay. You've got to go for sure. Uh, I will say, hold on, give me a moment. What do we got? Life steal, damage shield. I mean, I feel like the more life steal, the merrier on you. It would be nice if you died. <laughs> Let's give you, like, a little damage shield. This is gonna be a little interesting. How much HP do you have? 300 million? 1330. Okay. Now you take, you're still only taking 107. Not great. Um, you do 6... So, 6 times 9 is 54. If we could get you over 54, we could do a little bit more damage. We can't. We can get you to 53. Does that strike your fancy? If that's the case, then I think you're always going to benefit. Because you, you do get stronger over time. But I still think we're always going to get more out of our lifesteal unit getting that gas for now. 12 lifesteal buys us an awful lot. You are dying. So it, it's a little surprising to me, quite frankly, but I'm also very happy. That, that can't conceivably make it worse. I mean, nothing about this could make it worse, so we're just gonna stick with it. Um, I wonder if it's something related to the fact... So, like, I think our, there's something in this game called banner units. Banner units are units that I believe you got from events where the unit has a banner, like a unit draft. Um, just work with me, okay? It's, it's been a long day. 
We like that a lot. Um, I think we need Pyre health. So I think maybe our tank is always going to be the last unit we draw. Which is a little spooky. I'll just level with you. Your gorge ability triggering an additional time on your lifesteal unit. I don't believe it makes them unkillable. But it does make them extremely great. A little damage shield on our sap totem should help us out. If, it, if we could just... Through the, the gaze of time. If we could just get our frostbite tank. It's over. We will win, I think. <laughs> We do, we do have it. Oh, okay. Well, then what are we complaining about? I don't know, man. So we'll give you one of these. Give you one of these. Get sapped, fool. Um, you are taking 56 damage, but... Oh, we, we did this wrong. We are supposed to play our sap totem out there. But um, And we can't fit you anymore, but that's okay. Um, we're not going to sap you. We're going to save this, obviously. This is really good. It's unbelievably good. So we, you have to get played. It's a non, it's a no contest. I'm just trying to think about how we can also, we'd really like to save this and then have it on this floor, but it's kind of a, a big brain play that I'm not sure I would actually recommend. You dying is absolutely sweet. Remember we got double lifesteal abilities as well. You're dead to frostbite, so I actually don't think I play you. There's no real play. You know what? Maybe it's worth it for some sap action here. I'm trying to think of what we'd like to keep alive. Maybe like a damage shield totem. Or a morsel. Something like that. And we don't play this yet. Because there is there is a reason to play it for sap triggers. But we might as well play it if there's no other way to keep our tank alive. I think we're in an amazing position right now. Okay, so the morsel master has to get played. You are dying. Is there a way around it? I don't believe so. But let's let's give it a try first. So let's start with something probably like this. Still dying. Still dying. It's just the best morsel. I'm sorry to say. Um, yeah, I don't think there's a way around it. But let's keep sapping. Just to be sure. It's fine. It'll come back around one day. Um, I don't think we want to Ember Drain unless we have energy morsels. Pog the U as well. One day we're going to put a unit there and it's all going to come together. <laughs> you know what? I'm like, I'm pretty sure we can actually kill you with that. Oh, but the morsel's not going to die, so we're going to have no energy next turn, which could be uh, a bit of a negative, you know, depending on your perspective. Like, if you like winning, I think it could be a pretty big negative. However, check this out, dude. We're still pogged. Now, honestly, because you have Ember Drain, I'm kind of trying to, like, push you up to the front so you die faster. <laughs> it's weird. All right, we need to protect you on this floor. One energy is, is a slap in the face. I did it to myself, and that's what really hurts, but... Um, so this costs zero, which is important. We definitely want as much sap as possible. And you need to die. Thank God you're not dying. I, I would have forgiven myself, but... It would have taken a bit. Now, we do still need to find a way to keep you alive, which is hard. But even if you die now... I don't want to say it's okay... Uh, in fact, it's really not okay if our champion goes, but you got to do what you got to do, right? So you're you're doing wonders right now. This is not the turn you want to have, to be clear. Um, just like if we could just keep our champion. Nope. All right. All right. Well, you know what it is? Uh, very common situation. It all comes down to our lifesteal tank. And I've I've done it to myself yet again. It's pain. It's it's pain and uh, and suffering. It hurts a great deal. And yet here we are. Oh, on the harvest you get extra. Sure, of course. I'm gonna let you go. 
Hey, Pyre, you living? Are you living, son? That hurts, because I really thought we were in there. I think I did it to myself with the furnace tap. That's, that's painful, but you know what? We're close. We're knocking on the door. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. I was like radio. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. And I apologize, as always. And I'll see you next time. See ya!